In this video, I want to show you how you can install Google Chrome on a Linux system, specifically an Ubuntu or an Ubuntu derivative. Now, I'm using Ubuntu Mate 20.04, the long term support, but if you follow my instructions on this web page, you can install it for any of the other Ubuntu derivatives or even other platforms because I do provide the link where you can install it from other platforms as well. Now let me give you a little brief description. Now Google Chrome is the most widely used browser in the world so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going over how to configure it or even how to use it but I will show you how to install it because if you're coming from a Windows environment or a Windows operating system or a Mac operating system I want to show you how you can install it on a Linux system or an Ubuntu system so that way you're in that comfort zone of browsing the internet the same way you did when you were on another operating system. Now, as you can see here, Google Chrome, it is a multi-platform web browser developed by Google. That's where it gets the name Google Chrome. It was first released in 2008 for the Microsoft Windows, and it was later ported to Linux, Mac OS, iOS, Android, where it's the default uh, browser built into the operating system. And you can get more information at the Wikipedia website but as you can see here, if you click the market share worldwide, if I click this here, you'll see that I just took a screenshot here and stuck it on my website. As you can see here, in, from November of 2019 through November 2020, it's the most widely used browser, as you can see, in the world. Safari would be Sackett, Firefox, Third, Samsung Internet TV, where you get on the internet. Then you got Opera, the UC browser all the way down to the uh, uh, other browsers. But let's not focus on how widely used it is. There's a lot of people that don't like Chrome, but as you can see here, it's the most popular. So a lot of people feel comfortable with using it. Now, before I click the Google Chrome's, uh, well, let me click it and while it's loading, I will scroll down and show you. I took a screenshot of this to where you click the download Chrome button. It will determine what type operating system you have and provide you with a download to match your operating system. Now, since it will identify that I have Linux, since I am using Ubuntu, I would choose the deb file. If I was using Fedora or OpenSUSE, I would choose the RPM extension. I choose accept and install, and it will download this particular file. Then once it's finished, I'll go to my downloads folder or the location where I downloaded. I double click it to open and open it with my install packager or package installer. Now I'm using GDebby. You may have another package installer on your system. Now if you've got any uh, requirements that's needed, when you hit the install package button, it will install the required files. You can hit details to see what they are and then it will go and get those dependencies and then it will install Google Chrome on your system. So as you can see here, it goes out and gets the stable version to install on your system. Now, wait till you see same version is already installed. Reinstall or remove before you close the package installer. As you can see here, you will be prompted to make it your default browser and to automatically send usage statistics and crash reports to Google. If you'd like to send statistics back to them, a lot of people don't feel comfortable with what they collect, so you can uncheck that. And if you don't want to make it your default, uncheck that before you hit the OK button. Once you do, uh, it'll open up to a page very similar to this, and you can say Get Started. You can sign in if you already have an account on another operating system to sync up the and this is what you can do turn on sync you can say yes and it will sync your browsers now let me tell you one thing i like about google chrome is is it will install a repository the information for your repository so that way in the future when you're looking for updates if there's an update to the google chrome browser it will automatically install the most current version to keep it stable so that if there's any security flaws when the new version is coming out it will install the new version to keep you safe on the web. Now when I say keep you safe, a lot of people think that Google Chrome collects too much data and that's why they look for other browsers. But I'm showing you how you can install this on your Linux system. You can go to the Google Chrome web store and if I click this here, you can download a variety of extensions. Now you can see I'm in Firefox so it's letting me know that I'm not in the Google Chrome. But if you click that, it will take you to the web store where you can install a lot of extensions or add-ons. Here's some that I recommend. The uBlock, the Popper Blocker, the Privacy Badger, Traffic Light, and HTTPS Everywhere. Now if you're 
if you're someone that likes extension here's some other nice extensions but I do recommend not to install a lot of extensions because it will use your bandwidth and slow your internet down and also uh, there's a website here it says nearly 80 Chrome extensions were caught spying and how to protect yourself I'm not going to click that because that's not my website but you can click and read that to how to protect yourself from extensions that you do install on your Google Chrome browser now if you did get this error message right here where it says restore pages Google Chrome didn't shut down correctly you'll then go into your settings you'll then go to click on the advance and then right here where it says continue running in the background when the Google Chrome is closed turn that feature off and then that error message should disappear the next time you close your browser and sometimes you might have to reboot in order for the it to take an effect if you're using an old laptop you may have to turn off use hardware accelerator when available because if you have an older hardware accelerator that you might need to turn that off because videos at YouTube may appear to be choppy or it won't work properly now once you do uncheck continue running in the background when you run Google Chrome you won't see the little Chrome icon up in your system tray so if that aggravates you it will be gone when you do that so it says how to request Google Chrome to stop tracking you go you to your settings go to where it says to privacy and security click onto the cookies out to the right and then where it says block third-party cookies and incognito make sure you check that and also turn on this feature right here where it says send do not retract do not track request when when you're browsing traffic now let me go ahead and click the download button which I've already clicked let me hit download Chrome as you can see it's for Debian and Ubuntu users I'd say accept and install it's in the process I, I want to save the file hit OK as you can see it's starting to download and now it's finished I open my downloads folder I double click the file that I just downloaded and it opens with GDEBI package installer it's kind of looking through my system it says all pen dependencies on this laptop are satisfied click the install package it will be prompted for your password enter your password press the authenticate button and it's going to go across and get the files that it's needed and install them where they need to go on your system and notice that I'm in logged in as a super user because I am installing something on my laptop uh, so that way I'm affecting my system I'm installing the Google Chrome browser on my system now it will take a few moments it won't take very long and when it's finished it will add an icon in the internet folder and I'm using the traditional menu so if you don't see the internet uh, icon then restart your browser and it should be in that location now it looks like it's finished it says installation complete please wait till it says same you'll see it in just a moment it'll change same version is already installed where reinstall and remove package I'll close this out you can then go into your downloads folder and you can delete that deb file that you've downloaded as you can see here it's not here so if I rebooted my system it would come up or you can open it by going Google Chrome and I might have to put stable there it goes uh, and minimize this in the background and eventually it will add it to the it well at next reboot it'll be there now it says make Google Chrome the default browser I will sh make it the default so if I click a link but I don't want to send any usage statistics to Google so I'm going to uncheck that one hit OK and it's going to open up on my system I can say get started now if I had a username and password which I do but I'm not gonna log in here because it take time to pull in my extensions I'll say get started and if I like I said before I can go into the dot 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 go into settings and if you get that where you shut down and open up each time you're gonna have to scroll all the way down where it says advanced and just keep scrolling down until where you get to the system where it says continue running in the background click this and that way it, you won't get that error message and if you've got an older system I recommend you to turn that off now there's lots of other settings that you can do in here and if you google and I do have some links on my website uh, for 
securing the Google Chrome browser, but this is just in a video to show you how to install the Google Chrome browser on your Linux or Ubuntu system. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.